So welcome to this session of uh, service marketing. And in our last session, we had discussed the seven piece of marketing, and we had discussed with regard to product and niche. Let us now see promotion. Now, along with promotion, what happens is there should be education of the product that is being rendered. Now, there are few marketing programs which can succeed only with effective communication. Now, it plays three important roles. First one is, it provides the necessary information and advice. Uh, second one it, uh, is that it persuades target customer to buy the service product. And also, the third factor is that it encourages them to take action at specific time. Now in service marketing, um, most communication, it is educational in nature. Especially, you know, for uh, new customer, customers. Now, suppliers, they normally need to teach their customers about the benefits of the service, where and when to obtain it, and how to participate in service process to get the best result from these services that are being produced. That is to tell, you know, these services, they are often difficult to visualize and also understand because of the intangible elements they normally tend to dominate the value of creation now this intangibility intangibility that we normally speak now it consists of both mental and physical dimension if we have observed now mental intangibility when we tell it refers to the difficulty that we face in understanding the value and also the benefits of a service before we have actually purchased it. Now, in contrast, when we tell physical intangibility, uh, it tells about the elements such as process. Uh, it could be, you know, the internet-based transaction and the expertise and also altitudes of service personnel uh, it create maximum value in service performance. So when customer, they cannot, you know, either taste, smell, touch or see or, you know, hear these elements, it may be more difficult uh, for the customer to assess important service future even before they purchase it or to evaluate the quality of these service performance. So, this is where it becomes important for a service provider to create confidence uh, in the experience that it provides. That is, for instance, instance, you know, uh, firms which can use physical images and metaphors uh, to promote service benefits and demonstrate their competency, they must also, you know, have well-trained service employees who would be able to help, you know, uh, prospective customers make good choice educate them on what to expect you know both during and after service delivery and also help them to move smoothly through service process now documenting performance and explaining what was done and why was it done 
and also offering guarantees are some of the additional ways to you know reassure customers now these firms uh, they have much to gain from you know helping customers to appreciate this the service um, which are being offered that is to tell you know, when we are speaking about this education you know when one knows how to use a service well that is maybe even as simple as internet when they know it to use well then a person or individual will have a better service experience and also will have a better outcome but this greater efficiency it may boost the firm's productivity lower the firm's cost and even enable it to reduce the price that the individuals have to pay that is why promoting and educating the product is very much important now in this promotion we also have you know customer customer interaction which affect the service experience so when uh, you as a individual you encounter with other customers uh, maybe at a service facility uh, there is possibility that they too can affect your satisfaction uh, maybe how they are dressed who they are and how they behave can you know reinforce or no it might also negate the image of a firm uh, which is trying to project and experience that it is trying to create so the implications are clear that our organization need to use marketing communication uh, to attract the right customer segment to the service facility and also educate them through the appropriate behavior and we have if we observe people in it sorry price now price is basically about what price should be decided for which service at what place now with price there is a lot of things if you see but normally it is considered with you know most of the times um, seeing to that uh, price brings profit for the organization and there is a lot more to price now this is something which has been repeated over and over and over again that's why i shall not be speaking about it but what you can see is here uh, is the different types of pricing that the company uses it can be skimming pricing penetration pricing or value based pricing or uh, for that matter you know it can be cost plus pricing or uh, less leader uh, sorry loss leader pricing or cost leadership pricing now let us see the extended three other piece of marketing that is physical evidence process and peep
now if at all uh, i have to speak about this price uh, you know what i can tell before we start with extend piece is that this payment is very important very much important in allowing you know a value exchange to take place the pricing strategy mm, uh, that the firm takes it normally you know directly affects what income is being generated by the organization and also one more factor about pricing is the pricing strategy it is also you know highly dynamic now with price levels that is being existed over time uh, according to factors such as you know customer segmentation time and place of delivery uh, place of delivery or the level of demand and also based on available capacity so even for customer price is a key part of the cost that which they'll have to incur to obtain the desired benefits and also you know to calculate whether a particular service is worth what they are buying so they may also you know go beyond money and also try to understand how much time and effort are involved so this service marketers uh they must not only set price that you know target customers are willing and that they are able to pay but also they'll have to understand and seek to you know minimize uh where it is possible to cut down the price especially the other cost uh, that their customers normally incur while using the service and one more thing that comes with price is that you know most of the service products it cannot be invented so now let us go to the extended service marketing mix mix in that first one that we have is um physical evidence so okay now this physical evidence we can also call it as physical environment now if at all uh, consider that your job is in service business uh, which might require you know uh, customers to enter the service factory now if that is the case then you also have to spend time you know thinking about the design of the service kit what is this service scape now this service scape it is the appearance of you know the buildings the landscape the vehicles the maybe the interior the equipment the staff members the uniform that are being used the size the printed materials and also other visible cues which is provided which provide tangible evidence of the firm's service quality so this service scape it also facilitates you know service delivery and guides customers through the service process so service firms they need to manage service scape carefully since you know they can have a 
normally profound impact on the customer satisfaction and service productivity for that matter take into consideration maybe the restaurant the food might be very good very tasty it might also give value for the price we pay but if the physical evidence or the physical environment is not good maybe that is the last time that we visit it now when we speak about restaurant and physical environment all the things such as chairs the tables the cleanliness uh, that is being maintained all these things matters so next that we have is process uh, that is to tell managers they know where services are concerned how a firm does things is always as important as what it does so it is necessary to design and implement you know effective processes for the creation and delivery of service so badly designed service process it normally leads to slow and ineffective service delivery wasted time and also disappointing experience for customer now operation inputs and outputs it can vary very widely now operational inputs and outputs they tend to vary most widely for different services so this makes you know customer service process management a challenging task so when a service is delivered face to face and consumed as it is produced you know final assembly must take place in real time but operations you know they are often distributed across thousands of sites or branches uh, in case it is difficult for service organization uh, to ensure reliable delivery control quality and improve productivity as you know compared to that of packaged goods but then the best service firms uh, they have uh, in recent days made significant process, you know progress in reducing variability especially by you know carefully designing customer service process and adopting standardized procedures and equipment and implementing you know rigorous management of service quality by training employees more carefully and also automating the task which was previously performed only by humans then the last that we have is people now this tells that you know despite the advance in technology many services will always need direct interaction you know, which happens between customer and service employee now you as a customer might have noticed many times you know how there will be difference between one service supplier and another uh, maybe in the attitude and skills of the employees so service firms they need to work closely with the human resource departments and devote you know special care to the selection training and motivation of their service employees now in addition to possessing the necessary technical skills this individual they also need to need good interpersonal skills and a positive attitude so what you can see over slide is the relative added physical you know versus intangible elements that is present in goods and services so in the y axis you have physical elements in the x axis you have intangible elements that is total for internet banking the intangible element is high whereas physical elements is low as compared to that of salt which has highest physical element 
and lowest intangible element and you can see the continuum thereby so let us now try to see why did we understand or why did we try to understand this seven phase or what are the managerial implications uh, of uh, the eight features that we spoke under seven phase so the one first one that we spoke about was the the fact that you know most service products it cannot be inventoried that is to tell basically the output is perishable here so what does this implies when it comes to marketing um it means that you know customers they may to be not having satisfactory service provided or because of that they may turn away or there are chances that they may have to wait so for this problem what does that marketers have to do or what is the marketed marketing related topics here under now to solve such a problem there should be smooth demand which shall be done through promotion there should be dynamic pricing and also they should have something called as reservation and the organization it will have to work with operation so that they are able to adjust the capacity the second feature uh, or the difference that we have here is that intangible elements they usually dominate value of creation that is to tell services they are physically intangible what does that mean it means customers cannot taste smell or touch these elements and they may not be able to hear them or see them as well and because of this it becomes harder to evaluate service and to differentiate it from the other service competitor now to solve this problem what the marketers have to do they have to make services tangible through you know emphasis on physical clues or employ concrete metaphors and vivid images uh, which can be used in uh, advertising branding so that are the some things what organization can do the next one is service they are often difficult to visualize and understand what does that mean it means it is mentally intangible that is to tell when it is service customers they perceive greater risk and uncertainty so to solve it the organization will have to educate customers to make you know good choice explain what to look for document or to document performance or to offer guarantees so these are quite a few things which can be used then we have customers there is necessity necessity that they are also involved in co production that is to tell uh, we spoke about different type of processing here if people processing involved then the service is definitely inseparable so how the things will happen there their customers interact with providers equipment or the facility and system then if at all there is poor task execution you know it might hurt the productivity or it might be spoiling service experience and also it might curtail benefits now that is to tell the execution can be poor from the side of customer also we took the example of the nail manicure in that time during that service being provided if the customer does not interact well then the trouble should be from customer side and that person himself will not be getting a good service delivered so how can this problem be solved it can be solved by you know developing user friendly equipment facilities and systems and also by training customers to perform you know effectively 
and also by providing customer support so the fifth difference that we have is that people may be part of the service experience that is to tell the appearance attitude and the behavior of the ones who are giving the service or service personnel and the customers it can shape the experience and also the effect satisfaction of the customers and when this problem arises it is always suggested to you know train recruit and reward employees so that they are able to you know reinforce the planned service concept and also it becomes important that the organization targets the right customers at the right times and thereby able to shape their behavior the next difference that we took is that you know operational inputs and outputs uh they tend to vary more widely there is nothing but simply to say that services they are heterogeneous in nature um now because of this it becomes you know uh, harder to maintain consistency uh reliability and service quality uh, or to you know uh, it might allow lower cost through higher productivity and also it becomes difficult to shield customers from the results if there are any kind of service failures uh, now there are lot of uh, ways how this operational inputs can be managed such as by you know setting quality standard especially based on you know the expectation of the customer or maybe the organization has to entirely redesign the product uh, maybe for simplicity and also for making it failure proofing and also it has to institute you know good service and also take up recovery procedures and the next one is the time factor it often you know assumes greater importance that is total as we discuss now your customer they see time as scarce resource uh, which they want to spend wisely now dislike wasting time waiting and want service at times that are convenient so this is where the marketers will have to find ways to you know compete on speed of delivery minimize burden of waiting offer extended service hours now the last one is that you know dis- distribution it may takes place through non physical channel that is you know information based services can be delivered through uh, electronic channels um, such as maybe the internet or over the telecommunication but then the core products involving physical activities or the products it can never be done so so that is where the organization you know will have to seek to create user friendly secure website and also free access by telephone and also ensure that you know all the information based service elements can be downloaded from the their particular site so this one hour that we spoke was all above the seven piece of market service marketing in detail the differences that can be pointed out when we compare to that of the product and its implications on the market and how to solve all these problems using market related topics so now we shall go into one of the important topics and one of the easiest topics that we can find that is service marketing triangle now this can be called as the service marketing triangle or service triangle 
Now it speaks about the important elements which is involved in marketing a service business. And it also speaks about the important marketing activities that occur between the actors. Here who are the actors? That is company, customers and employees. Now what happens between customer and company is external marketing. What happens between employees and customers is interactive marketing and what happens between employees and company is internal marketing. And what you will have to remember when you speak about service marketing triangle is that this service marketing triangle, it is concerned only with marketing of services. Now, this model does not apply to product. So, what are the four main things that I ask you to remember? That is IPIH, that is intangible, perishable, inseparable and heterogeneous. Now, this service business, if we observe, uh, it is marketed on promise. So, these are the promises normally we make to customer uh, and whether we keep or fail to keep those promises. So, the service marketing triangle, it is a visual strategic model which reinforces the importance of people in a company's ability to keep its promise. So, we are speaking about the promise. As you can see in the slide, see you have external marketing, internal marketing and interactive marketing. Now, we said that when it is external marketing, there is making the promise. When it is interactive marketing, there is delivering the promise. And in internal marketing, we have enabling the promise. So, what is this promise all about? So, here when we speak about the promise, the promise, it means to assure customer, especially about the services that are being offered by the organization, which will provide to them, which can be provided to them in time and with same quality, and quantity as mentioned. I shall repeat what promise means here. Here promise means to assure customer above the service that are being offered which will be provided to them in time and with same quality and quality as that has been mentioned. So, this is how the service marketing triangle can be seen. Now, here with each actor or each three of those, they work together to develop, to promote and also deliver a company's service. So, who are the different actors present here? Now, you might tell three, but definitely there are six. First one is company. Now, it refers to the team of the company that is there in the question. Now, we have employees. It refers to all the employees who are including the subcontractors who shall be delivering the company's services. And the third one we have is customer. Who are customer? Customer refers to all the customers. Not only customers who are buying it also can include potential customers for the company. So, these are the three actors that we can see. So, what are the other three that I am speaking about? The other three are, first one is external marketing, which occurs between the company and its customer. The internal marketing, which occurs between the company and its employees. And interactive marketing which occurs between 
employees and customers so company you know that is management you have learned a lot about it employees also you know where you have learned about it in hr and you have customers it again you have understood it under marketing so what are this external marketing uh now this external marketing it might include things like advertising personal selling or pr or public relation that we speak of it also includes direct marketing so why do we use this external marketing normally we use it for creating awareness uh, setting price expectations or uh, setting service level expectation and also for informing customers uh, if any prerequisites that must be in place before they can use the service then we have internal marketing what is this internal marketing now uh, within the business we view the employees as internal customer so they are a market which the organization must please first as a company so the management it should be focused on you know satisfying its employees so that the employees will serve the customer in a better way so this internal marketing normally involves you know motivating the employees uh, especially to work as a team so that they can make customer satisfied and this is also true for customer service representatives and it can equally be applied to all the employees and this results in everyone and at all uh, and also at all levels of the organization which is being empowered you know to deliver great customer service so Uh, it normally includes you know motivating employees uh, maybe teaching the employees with customer satisfaction techniques communicating company goals to the employees on a regular basis or maybe speaking about management of change and also training staff on you know how to use the company services uh, and good pay and working conditions and the last one that we have is interactive marketing so this interactive marketing it occurs when employees and customers interact so it is uh, at this point uh, where the promises made during external marketing they are either kept or broken by the employees or the subcontractors of the business so every significant uh, interaction that happens between an employee and a customer is known as service encounter now this interactive market is something which is very important because it establish both short term and long term satisfaction that is if the customer is satisfied with the service they received in the short term they are more likely to be satisfied over the long term as well so we spoke so much about service market triangle probably we shall just understand by giving a example so we shall take the example of a luxurious hotel now that we have taken this luxurious hotel let us take into consideration the external marketing so this luxury hotel that we took now it may want to educate the customers through you know advertising and also maybe through pr so they will want to inform customers that you know uh, the rooms have the finest quality of furniture uh, they are likely to also want to convey that you know their staff they are knowledgeable and also very willing to help 
with whatever request a customer may have and to deliver these promises normally the company it focuses on internal marketing and thereby it establish you know more consider roles with the hotel than the industry average so this helps ensure that you know staff feel they have the time they need to help you know each customer on the best of maybe their ability and the organization will also train the employees on the local area maybe on the local activities and also the company teaches every employee you know how to handle difficult guests and situations now one of the ways that the hotel handles you know this interactive marketing uh, is that they employ someone to manage their social media presence and reputation that is to tell suppose a guest tweeted that they are in their room preparing for an important meeting the next day this would be noticed by the member of the staff managing the hotel social media present then wish list the guest is that you know maybe they are meeting the hotel might leave a handwritten note and some chocolates in their room so the note will wish that their meeting went well the chocolates will make them feel you know cared about and listened to so this might make the customer feel valued in the short term and it also makes them more likely to remain a customer over long term so in total if we have to speak the service marketing triangle is a you know strategic marketing model now it provides a visual way of understanding uh, the importance of people especially in service business now to wrap up things you know this model it is based on the fact that you know all the services business that are above promises so the business makes promise to its customer especially through external marketing so the business facilitates its employees to keep those promise through internal marketing and finally the business delivers its promise with interactive marketing so that is all about service marketing triangle now speaking about challenges in service marketing definitely it goes beyond what has been put up in slide now this is a way where you can take points yes some general challenges that we face now it has been taken from the research paper by linton uh, which was published in 2014 he spoke that you know service face different challenges than companies which phys- uh, market physical products so services are marketing something intangible that the customer cannot experience until the product has delivered but though you know some aspects of service marketing uh, they are similar to product marketing the service sector always needs to place you know some very great emphasis on adding value differentiation and also specialization so the first one is service development now development costs for service are high as compared to those of a product company Uh, that because service cannot keep standard service in stock or also it is unable to take advantage of you know the economies of scale because they are not storable so they must create a new version of the service for each assignment or customize to the needs of you know individual customers so to create a service normally a representative discusses the customer requirement 
prepares a service specialization for the customer's approval and brings together maybe the elements that are needed to deliver the service and the next one that we have is competition uh, now for most of the ser service competition is both direct and indirect uh, direct competitors it includes other service business uh, which offers you know similar service and manufacturers who provide services uh, that normally supports their product so uh, you know this services they also face a form of you know indirect competition uh, from customers who provide service from their own internal resources so to make customers to outsource their operations uh, services they must demonstrate you know that their offering is both superior and most importantly that their offering is cost effective then we have intangibility challenges now this in service industry you know it is one of the hardest things to overcome that is to tell take into consideration maybe 55 to 55 five people can touch and see a product and are exchanging money for something they need and can you know take home to use conversely people only see the result of a service which may not always be immediate so it requires faith on the customer's part that they will get the desired result for what is being offered to them then we have demonstrating empathy that is to tell convince your customer in your marketing effort uh try make them know that you understand their problems and because of that you are offering a solution and when you do this using people process and physical evidence it will always help the organization then there is competitive present this is to tell how the organization prizes its service is always a important marketing element the organization it needs to be competitive so it will also have to research you know several competitors price so it can uh, compare what the prospective customers are ready to pay then the organization will have to know its cost its overhead uh so that it can determine if uh, the price can meet the cost and make a profit with that particular price through which they are offering the services then there is the last point that is implementing people so you know as a service company market people it also includes you know each individual in karma so a service is consumed when it is purchased or produced so just the result or effects you know linger and sometimes temporarily that is to tell the businesses customers uh it might get dirty again so the result of the organization cleaning delivery is temporary the client may or may not call you the business again but on the overall experience how the business performed that service and interacted with the clients will impact the repeatedness of business so the relationship is important so there it becomes important to follow up with the customer with personalized notes or maybe a telephone reminder as a part of marketing effort so these are some of the challenges um, that shall be present 
Now having said that, hereby we have come to an end of chapter 1. And there is still 3 more chapters from my side to complete.